eight seconds remaining here in the first half. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chiefs have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead into the locker room. We've been together a few years, and you know that I really ride the wave of old momentum, don't I? <laughs> yes, you do. There is a heck of a difference between being down six and possibly being up one. And right now, they've got that opportunity. No doubt. That is a big-time score and a big-time swing in momentum. Four seconds. All that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. A final shot before half for Lance. Dancing to his left. He finds his man complete. It's Jenkins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Yeah, he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. It's interesting, going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. And we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Ready? Now a play fake. Lance. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game. And there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Buying time to his left. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had it because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. Here's the Raiders punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Here's James returning. 31 yards on the punt there. And they will take over first and 10. Thank you. 
The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Now, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first down, Mahomes. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Kadarius Tony. 58 yards as his guys are able to extend their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead is up to eight. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. set to get this drive started. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. Now, despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Lance looking to throw it. Eluding the pressure right. Gets it downfield to Mayer. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark it down at the 49. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Play action. Now it's Lance. Sliding out of the pocket. He's got Hooper on the short connection. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Let's go. Second down and eight. On the ball, on the ball. Hut, hut. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 42. 48 yards on the ground for him so far. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Ready. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Calling no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. He'll buy some time right. Now Lance unable to escape, and down he goes. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Chiefs' defense comes up with a stop. Even though they didn't get it, probably the right call. Too long for a field goal and just not a whole lot to gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you punt the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick, right? Which means 
it's got a better chance of being blocked. So you're taking a chance either way. I like the fact they went for it. A big play there for KC. Give him 42 yards on the ground. And I don't want to harp on it, but this defense among the bottom in the league against the run, and they show it right there. And it doesn't matter when you get prepared for this defense, whether you're good running the ball or not. That's your plan. Run the ball against them. That's their weakness. And by the way, I think you harped on it. I did. My bad. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now the Georgia Southern man, this is Jarek McKinnon. And he'll take this one down near the 15. And they're going to speed things up here. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. It's James. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Richie James, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs extend their lead, and they are about to get to a 9-2 record. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Ready. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense, because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride to the offense this go around. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The Raiders on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This will be third and a mile. To throw, it's Lance. And that will be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Las Vegas sending out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Oh, it's a wobbler here. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now a dump off here complete. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 106 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. 
the stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. Here's Pacheco. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with his 13th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Still going. One man to beat. And he will score. Touchdown, Raiders. Well, he made the right choice by result, but a little bit surprising because now with touchbacks coming back to the 25 instead of the 20, when guys field it that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want him to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. Now a two-point conversion attempt forthcoming. Ready. Lance going to try to throw for this. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back at two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there. But that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Second and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Flushed out right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Mahomes picked by his ex-teammate Marcus Peters. And it's a tremendous return as they finally get him at about the 10-yard line. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Here's Lance. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Mike Edwards picks it off. And the Chiefs are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Turnover that just got him the football back, obviously a big one, because had they been able to score on the other side, this would have been a one possession game. So you don't sense full relief here, then? No, I don't think, especially with the ball this deep in their own territory, because you make a mistake, they've got it right back in prime position. They certainly do. So now, almost like, you know, almost like a four minute offense, right? Take care of this bad boy. Make sure the other team doesn't touch it, but move it with consistent gains. Wear down the clock and make them use their timeouts in this situation. 
And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. This ball deep for Tony. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Running left to give to Pacheco. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Five yards, now it's third and five. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Here is third and five. Mahomes going to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now. As he'll kick it away for the second time. Here comes Abdullah on the return. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Ready. They'll come up first and 10 here. Cheetah, cheetah. Ready, ready. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. On second down, Jacobs. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Well, they need to score and score quick. One timeout remaining. Final minute, first and ten. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. From the gun on third down, Lance. Now he's taken down, a chief sack. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Let's go now. The decision made for him. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Ready. Desperation time here. Lance. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Right. 
We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Kadarius Tony. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chiefs are closing in on a ninth victory on the year as they extend their lead. And this win now going to look a little more lopsided on the scoreboard, CD. Now, some may have run out the clock in that scenario, but they wanted to put their foot on the gas, get one more touchdown, and they did just that. Well, partner, I would say the traditionalists not overly excited about that score. They'd like to see the game played a little bit differently. But what you can't argue with is their execution of that play because it played out exactly as it was drawn up. It almost would have been a shame not to finish with such a well-run play. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. At their own 24 yard line. Here we go, Zach. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though. Probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. Let's go. Here's second and 10. Second and 10 at the 24 yard line. Ready? Shotgun now for Lance. And it's complete to Adams. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Throwing on first down is Lance. Escaping the pressure right. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. But the lopsided affair finally coming to an end, and really no shortage of big plays for us to examine, partner, on offense or on defense for this team. They were so well-rounded in this one. They certainly were, and how about the day those defenders had, though? How many takeaways did they have? I quit counting after a while. They were clearly the better team, and their defensive effort, it led the way. So for the Chiefs, they just keep on rolling as they move to 9-2 with a win here. And they'll get another road test next week as they have to go to Lambeau to take on the Packers. Meanwhile, for Las Vegas, this loss cost them in the playoff chase as they fall back to 7-5 on the year. And they'll get the extra week to think about this one as they return to action in two weeks' time. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.